Hello everyone, LJ here and welcome on to another episode from our survival let's play. So, things are going to be a little bit different from now on. I am finding it a bit hard to post weekly episodes, so I think I'm going to switch it up. I was going to do bi-weekly, but then I thought that it might be a little bit strenuous as well with giving what I want to do throughout the week so i want to switch it up i'm gonna do monthly episodes it will be like monthly recaps now don't get me wrong i still will be posting videos in between like short videos short clips i'll be doing actual youtube shorts and stuff like that i also want to start posting my shorts on tiktok and stuff like that so i can try to broaden my audience and things so i was in the middle of this episode episode five and i just decided you know what let's scrap that let's just do a review let's talk about what we've done and get the monthly recaps and review started from now in a sense so let me go and show you guys what i've been up to and for this i think we are going to begin at the barn because i did build a nice little barn and i also decorated our pathways and made, made pathways actually but this is our barn it is a nice little cottage core medieval vibe barn i am still considering if i should do a upstairs area like for storage and stuff like that it's not completely important but i think it would be practical one might say because right now we don't have any storage area so we could do like a ladder up to the area like a ladder from here going up to the storage and that could be like a little bit up there that could make a little bit of sense i'm guessing and we also did ourselves some coverage of the auto farms so while it is not the best looking trust me but it works it gets the job done i tried to be a little bit practical as well when it came on to leaving ventilation for the chickens to breathe and leaving access points so that we can access all the goody 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 gumdrops that we have in the barn where did this you know we're not gonna question it there's also a sugarcane farm so i also did not do any heavy decoration to this side of the the area as yet the side of the base as yet because i was trying to think of how we're going to theme it and i i am gonna like put leaves and stuff like that but i want to know like where trees are gonna go eventually pathways maybe little pop-up stalls and stuff like that that we want to put in the area and get ourselves pretty and tied together i guess then there's also the story of our tree farm so the tree farm is was not really made in episode five but i thought i should bring it in here it has been produced and i like it i did change it up a little bit some of the things were a little bit too close so i just spaced it out a little bit more so that we don't have any more hiccups in the foreseeable future then there's also the iron farm that we have over in this area so our iron farm was also not in episode five but i think we should still incorporated in this video they still get stuck here and you know, just give it a second he'll eventually decide to move and walk off or he just dies there and the iron still falls and i get it i'm not gonna get the iron it's gonna burn in the lava anyway. yeah that's fine that's completely okay can you move no okay anyways just so we know i want to give you guys an update on the iron farm so our iron farm has been producing iron in the background it is very close to us where if we are in the base area it is rendered and it still it still creates iron and it has been bouncing and i have been taken out of it tenfold i've been trading with the villagers with the iron and stuff like that trying to get ourselves some emeralds and trying to get ourselves some golden carrots and just trying to get ourselves put together in general and there is also the story of the village so if you guys have been paying attention which highly unlikely these are small details you would have noticed that there was a farmland here and there was a farmland somewhere in that hill area too as well i have moved them i have created a farming district or a farming area haven't had any buildings in there as yet but we did put the farming district over there which we're gonna head to in a second but i just wanted to show you guys how i have been working with the villagers trying to get our trades up i have myself a mending villager he also does frostwalker on breaking three and we have a sharpness five and this one is silk touch this is a respect touch villager he trades silk touch twice which is kind of annoying but it is what it is there's also a knockback we don't really need a knockback i am however waiting to get this villager to max trades to hopefully get myself some 
name tags because I need to start naming my animals and my villagers. I also have our villagers in a little situation here, which we are going to be working on in the foreseeable future. It's just temporary, just because I wanted to have all them in one spot so I can decide what trades I want, what villagers I want, and it was a bit easier to re-roll them in this little area as well. Their bed situations too, I figured more or less it would be a little bit easier for me to see and have an accountability of all my villagers when they're all in one spot, so... <laughs> I put all their beds outside and they're sleeping under the stars and the moon, but that's fine. So this right here is our farming area. I literally just built it before this clip, before deciding that I am going to not do episode 5 and just do a recap, a monthly recap of sorts and get myself together. So I just built it. So it is not completely filled out as yet. I am leaving the villagers to do their jobs. I am going to, however, add a bit more beds to the area so that the villagers can breed and that we can have enough farmers over here working six times as hard <laughs> to get this place up and running and so that they can feed the village. Right? Right? You're going to feed the village for me? Thank Ooh. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> okay. Now, heading down into the Dark Abyss, we have our mob grinder. So, this is our little mob grinder set up along with our enchanting table on this side. It works. It's a little bit hidden away. It's not the final spot for the enchanting table, but it's the spot. And it gets the job done, and it's close to the XP, so I don't have to be running up and down to get ourselves some experience. This is also my little bed area, just in case I'm done here and need to sleep to protect the villagers upstairs. I haven't started looting the ores as yet. We do have a little bit of stuff in here, which I'm not gonna really pay attention to at the moment and get some things done. So I think it works. It is actually like, it's not decorated or anything, but it gets the job done, as I said. It gets me XP, it gets me a lot of bones, and it gets me a lot of loot in general. So I'm not really complaining about it. And just so we know, our monthly episodes are going to be a bit longer than this episode just because, just given the fact that we have to be putting a month's worth of content into one episode. I know I usually, uh, I know I usually prefer shorter videos because it's a bit easier to watch, but given the origin <laughs> given the origin of the episode or the monthly episode it's going to be a little bit longer it's going to be way more than the 30 second limit that i've given the 30 minute limit that i've given myself but that's fine maybe a 40 or 50 minutes just nice gameplay explaining everything showcase showcasing everything um maybe we can add some building clips in there as well i will be streaming i'll be trying to stream a bit more frequently so if you wanna see me stream you can find me on twitch at twitch.tv slash clark that's a capital a and a capital c i'll put it up on screen for you and you can also follow my links my twitter my discord i have discord i have i don't really there is a Discord server, but it's not really an active Discord server. So I'm going to remake my Discord server point blank and try to get myself together. I've remade my Discord server so many times during my content creation journey, which is it's just crazy. Um, I am also I also have a couple other channels that I want to start posting on as well. I have my vlogs channel, my behind the scenes channel, stuff like that, that I'm going to start doing. Hence why I said during the weeks i am going to have too much to do which is why i won't be able to do weekly episodes but i will still be playing the game it's just like getting an episode out every friday i every friday at 8 a.m is just not going to be possible for me at this at this point until i get a little bit bigger and i can invest some more money into my content creation then maybe we can go back to weekly content but i will try to post shorts at least every other day i will be if i'm streaming i will get clips if i get clips i will get shorts. so it's all about the the process like trusting the process and ensuring that everything goes how it's supposed to go and that i do what i need to do basically that's it just a little bit before that, I was working on our town center. 
So I was explaining in the episode that I was creating that this is going to be our town center. All the roads are going to connect to this. I'm going to connect the village road to that area. And when I think about a town center, I see a garden, a nice circular garden or circle like a circle like garden that has paths running through it. It might have a little river or a little lake or something that gives it a nice little natural look some trees some leafage some foliage and maybe some frogs i cannot i know i found a mangrove biome no a swamp biome somewhere i think frogs spawn in the swamp biomes and not only mangroves i'm gonna have to figure that out so i want to work on that in this episode just to give this episode a little bit more body so what i was thinking is i could take I don't know how I do this. I want it to be circular in a sense where it has a middle. Do I have any? I have a few blocks. Let's use this. So this could be the center of the village square. So we can add like a little pond in here. Just, just trying to see things. So this is temporary just so I can see what's going on here. And I could maybe jeer out to the side by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side as well. And seven on this side. And seven on this side. That looks big enough. Then we're going to have like the plants and foliage in this area plants and foliage in this area etc and in the center we can have like we can have like or maybe we can oh, the shovel the shovel is just so fast <laughs> uh, maybe we can have it going that way uh, hello thank you um so I need to get a slower shovel for things like these. <laughs> Honestly. Maybe we can have the, the lake not looking square. Maybe give it like a circular, triangular feel so that it could tie the air in a little bit more. Then we could have like a little bridge going over the like a little four-way bridge going over the pond. I think that works. So let me figure out my situation here. Let me get ourselves situated. Let me get this place digged up. Then we're going to do the finishing touches on camera because we're doing the monthly recast and that's basically what we're going to be doing. <laughs> this is the facade, the layout, the, the parent, let's say. It is not decorated as yet. The water is not filled in. We haven't brought in any moss action, nothing. This is just what it's going to look like. So think about it this way. We're gonna have a nice little water here. So um, it could be like this and then we could keep filling it in, fill it in. And if it, if it fills, am I filling it right? I am filling it right. There we go. Oh, a little bit here. Then we could do another one like so, another one like right here, and then fill it in. Basically, we're just filling it in and making a parent water source. So like a pond, as I said. No, I don't know why I'm trying, trying not to use the word like I don't, didn't already say it or something. So we're trying to make a pond. We're trying to make it pretty. The grass is going to turn into dirt blocks, but this is where we're going to come in and we're going to put moss in there instead of keeping it at regular dirt blocks. We could even bone meal some other dirt, keep it in there as well, and let it be like coral. I think if we bone meal it, coral comes in, or is that just bedrock? I don't know, maybe that is just bedrock. And then for the inside, we're gonna add a little bit of foliage to like some bush action, like light bush action. I'm gonna mainly do like fence gates and fence posts in the air so like on each little head we can have like a few one to a few grasses like this and maybe one more here and over here we can do one here and then one like here 
that could work i could also maybe broaden the path a little bit more so that we have a little bit more walking space i think that works if i just take the path out like by a couple more blocks we have a little bit more walking space we can branch off this one can go to the house and then this one can maybe go this one can go to the tree farm over there this one goes over to the what's that called again the iron farm and then we could take this one going along the beach side down to the village i think that works and then i can't remember let me see something so i know in bedrock we can bone meal flowers like the come on pig i know in bedrock we can bone meal like the little flowers and they multiply i can't remember if that's the case in java edition so i'm just gonna go ahead and test out my theory and see this big is really annoying me and i have like a one top flower somewhere okay there we go does it multiply no it doesn't so i'm gonna have to pick <laughs> pick up the flowers by hand but if i just go in here and bone meal the grass itself it should come up with some flowers like flowers should come in there like eventually i think that didn't that didn't do any flowers that is there we go then we can like try to keep some of the tall grass out of here keep some of the shorter grass and then that could work i think that works so let's make a lot of bone meal then we can go ahead and find some two tall flowers because i believe the two tall flowers are the only flowers you can bone meal in java edition which is weird I'm also vaguely remembering a update that Minecraft did that made like consistency in flowers. So I think if a flower doesn't spawn the first time you bone meal it, it's just not gonna spawn in general. I think that was the case. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that was the case. So I my best bet is just getting some flowers, just picking some flowers. So let's go flower picking. So here goes the bane of my existence <laughs> custom trees i hate making custom trees i cannot make custom trees to save my life but i'm gonna try i need a block to block up with i am gonna try <laughs> to make me a custom tree no i didn't need that yet i needed this like this tall maybe that goes there and then i'm gonna try like, I don't want it to be any heavy tree, maybe like this, on this here. <laughs> I, I, I can't do custom trees, I just can't. This goes, this goes too. I think that goes, I think all of that goes. And then one, one. Maybe we can. I don't know. I can't do custom trees. It's just not a thing that I was meant to do. I try. I always try. It always comes out like a big blob. <laughs> a big blob like this. But it works. Like, it brings a little bit of life to the area. So I think I'm going to add, like, just one here and maybe another one right here. And that could be it for custom tree. Treeage like in this area period because i don't think I'm, I'm, i'll be able to make another custom tree 
and then leaf, and then we go this down, then we go two, then we go again, and two, then we go and two, then we go one, two, we put one here, one here, we put one here, and one more here, and then can we go? No. <laughs> no. No. Then we can like do some regular trees. No, maybe not. Uh and then I was thinking this looks plain. This looks plain, but I was gonna do like a bridge over it, as I said, like a four-way bridge. Oh yeah, we're not gonna add anything else to it but the four-way bridge. Then we'll get the bone meal. We can just bone meal in here and see how this turns out. I mean that works. We don't have to bring any moss in here, do we? See, we don't get corals. I think it's only better condition where we get corals when we bone meal dirt. Like the coral fans, I think we get those in better condition. But yeah, this looks nice. I'm liking it. I mean, the only thing that we really need to do is just open the path a little bit more. We could add like some lighting. I have lanterns, can I? I think we can place lanterns underwater. I think it would look nice if I have a underwater lantern. There we go. Maybe we could like add one. I can't put it on the tree. Hmm. But yeah, that works. Um, we can figure out the lighting situations. We can get some moss carpets and put them underneath the moss carpets and stuff like that. Um, azalea leaves would have worked better, but I don't have enough azalea leaves to be decorated with as yet. I just use it for the little hints and highlights. So yeah. And I think the bushy leaf texture is what's making our little trees look a little bit too stumpy. But that works. That works. It works. This is where we are going to call it a episode. It has been a short one, but as I said, it was just like an update video. We did a review. Basically, it was supposed to be a monthly recap, but it was more like a weekly recap because this month was pretty slow for me. But next month, it's going to be way longer, a bit more content heavy i i can hope and stuff like that but i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next episode good bye